Hey, what's up guys? We're going to be reviewing the Glute Lab book. This is everything you would want to know and way more about glute training. This is Brett Contreras' most recent publication. You might know him as the Glute Guy. He's on Instagram always posting information about glute training. He has an entire gym dedicated to glute training, which is called the Glute Lab. And he most recently released this book. It's over 600 pages of content just about lower body training. So we're going to go ahead and dive into all the details of this book right now. Alright, so after I picked this book up on Amazon and started to look through it, there's a couple things that came up. First of all, what you're going to want to do is take this cover off. The uh, <laughs> cover's kind of cheesy and there's a nice hard cover underneath. The book's much easier to work with at that point. This book is mostly going to be for personal trainers and then anyone who's involved in the physique world. Uh, there's a lot of detail of the science aspect of it, so people with an exercise science background will benefit. But Brett does a great job of breaking down the concepts so that it's easy to understand whether you have an exercise science background or not. The book basically starts off with an anatomy and physiology section as well as an intro to who Brett is and what he does. It covers his background in glute training, how he got into it, and then uh, basically all of his experiences over the last 20 years or so of experimenting with glute training. It goes into EMG studies that he's done, clients that he's trained, the logic behind his training methods, and really uh, kind of intros the book well. The book is really well written and easy to follow. It has a lot of text information as well as various pictures for easy understanding of the text. There's also anatomical pictures that explain muscle physiology and biomechanics principles. So if you're a visual learner, this book will actually provide a lot in terms of visuals for what he's explaining. So you'll see various pictures of training and then that's connected right into the functional anatomy of the glutes, the SI joint, the pelvis. Now, with the anatomy and physiology, he also relates it to independent research that he's done and some research that's been done outside of his own lab. So you can see a lot of EMG studies in here as well as case studies. There's a lot to get from that in terms of information. And although some of it is theoretical and speculative, he does recognize that, just points out you know, what he takes out of that research. But there is a lot of information. There's a good 50 to 100 pages right in the middle of the book that really breaks down the biomechanics of the hip, knee and ankle. So basically this section is going to be really beneficial for a personal trainer who's looking to have an eye for different faults, different movement patterns, and then also strategies for how to adapt and change movement patterns. So it's not just about strength training. The book also covers mobility and flexibility exercises specific to hip and glute training. In the nutrition portion of the book, Brett really breaks down the basic science of nutrition, talking about calorie balance, strategies for meal timing, and basic calculations of macronutrients and diet plans. A lot of people will probably find chapters 12 through 18 to be very beneficial. That's where Brett basically breaks down training programming and periodization. So anywhere from how you fit glute training into yoga programs, Pilates programs, and CrossFit, all the way into completely designed 12-week programs for beginner, intermediate, and advanced athletes, he really has it all covered in terms of giving you some things that you can actually take away and go and do in the gym just from this book. So the fifth section of the book is all about exercises and it's dense all the way from page 299 to page 580. So about 300 pages right there is all just different glute exercises, quad exercises, strategies for progressing from hip dominant to glute dominant, um, accessory movements, compound movements. Everything and anything you'd want to know about lower body training is covered in that 300 pages. For example, this is a programming and resistance training book from Dr. Kramer. And that entire book is about 300 pages. And that's just the exercise portion of this book. It's deep. So another comparison, this is the Glute Lab book. And then this is the CSCS book for the uh, NSCA's highest level strength conditioning certification. Honestly, they're about the same. Um, if anything, the Glute Lab book is going to be a little bit larger. Uh, this is a little bit more dense, the CSCS book, in terms of material, whereas this one is a little bit easier to read. It has more pictures. It has more diagrams in it. In terms of the amount of content in this book, it's, it's, it's really crazy. So in this book, The Science and Development of Muscle Hypertrophy, Brad Schoenfeld, who's a researcher, basically talks about the principles of metabolic stress and mechanical tension. Brett, in his book, The Glute Lab book, 
basically covers the specifics of glute training as it relates to metabolic stress and mechanical tension. So there's an entire section about how to tailor training programs to hit those basic aspects that Brett had covered in his book. So what Brett already posts about on Instagram is a lot of what's covered in this book. It's just organized into chapters. So a lot of this is going to sound familiar if you followed him for a while, but I do think that this is a valuable resource in terms of organizing all that content. And then if you're looking for something specific, you can go to that chapter and read all of his information in one area. I picked this up for about $35 on Amazon, and I do highly recommend it. <laughs> Alright guys, so if you like this video, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to the Movement System channel. We have a lot of awesome content coming, especially for people who are interested in strength and conditioning. Also, go ahead and check me out on Instagram, at the Movement System. Alright, thanks guys.